man a week away from his 101st birthday backed into a group of people, mostly children, and sent them to the hospital. The incident restarts a debate among drivers and within families. When should an older person stop driving? How old is too old to drive? Not in your sides. Kevin Keene has been looking for some perspective, and he joins us live on the east side. Guy, good evening. This is a topic, a sensitive one, affecting everyone on the road and everyone on the sidewalk, for that matter. The central issue here is keeping people safe, and some crashes involving aging drivers could have perhaps been prevented. An 83-year-old drives the wrong way on the highway. Oh, my God! A 70-year-old backs up over a police car. During El Tour de Tucson in 2008, a senior drives directly into bicyclists, injuring several. And in L.A. Wednesday, police say a 100-year-old man accidentally backs up, injuring 14, 11 of them children. I'm sorry. What goes through your mind when you hear a story like that? Frightening, very frightening. I hope I would realize before anything like that might happen that they would take the keys away. <laughs> 88-year-old Betty Garfield still has those keys, though the Tucsonan hasn't used them lately because of a hip injury. It took you off of the road, but you'd like to return. Yes, my car is waiting for me. <laughs> Anxiously waiting to regain independence, patiently waiting for a ride right now. Meantime, I am dependent on the uh, handy car to come and get me. So when should a senior stop driving? Is there an easy answer to should they, should they not give up the keys? There's never really an easy answer, but AAA believes that age does not dictate when somebody should give up their keys. Instead, Valerie Vineyard of AAA Arizona points to a senior's ability to drive. To test that, the company looks at a person's leg strength, mobility, flexibility, visual acuity, and memory. All factors, family, friends, medical professionals, and the senior should talk over, knowing the time to hitch a ride indefinitely could come. Have you thought about that? Well, it's something that crosses my mind, but as long as I feel I have all my <laughs> faculties and I seem to be okay, uh, I, I'm able to drive. The federal government in AAA has a lot of advice for older drivers here on the road. And our local AAA office will also hold a workshop specifically on this topic later in September. We posted all the information that you need on kega9.com. Live on the east side, Kevin Keene, Kega9 on your side. Kevin, what does Arizona law say about older drivers? Yeah, the law says that when a driver turns over 65, they need to renew their license more frequently every single five years. And each of those renewals also requires a vision test. All right, Kevin, thank you.